Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law. Please subscribe to our channel. We're often asked whether or not there's a, uh, a, a cutoff or, or, you know, as it relates to alimony. In other words, is there a, a certain amount of years? Once I'm married that amount of years, I'm stuck. Before that period of time, no alimony. Is there a triggering number? And the answer is there really isn't. The court has broad uh, discretion to decide to award alimony based on multiple factors. Uh, sometimes people, based on those factors, even if they've been married for 25 years, the court may say, no, no alimony. And you say, ah, but we've been married so long. Yeah, but the factors that the court uses to analyze, like, for example, the availability of money to pay alimony, if that factor isn't met, then you know what happens? There won't be alimony even if you've been married for a long time. On the flip side, sometimes parties are married for only five years or so, but there could be circumstances where the court will allocate alimony and award it in that case. So it's not like I'm married X amount of years and therefore I either get it or I don't. It's a much more sophisticated analysis than that with a lot of moving parts. If you have any questions about that, reach out, and of course we'll be glad to help you out.